Tinsel and Sawdust. That is uh, my business name and now collective name with uh, Jana Watson, Mandy Ridley, and Amy Markanda. I made that sign one day. Oh, <laughs> 20 seconds, eh? Okay, uh, the name came to be because this guy right here, Lucas Brancallion, he and I uh, applied to do the One of a Kind show. Phew, glad we did not get in. But, um, and we were trying to come up with a name, and so we were uh, looking through his iPod. And uh, Tinsel and Sawdust is the name of a Jason Collette song. Uh, Sawdust and Tinsel is the name of a Ingmar Bergman film. Um, so we stuck with that, and it's, it's stayed a while. This is, this is short. Maybe it's making me have to go to the light. So anyway, I am into multifunctional furniture. This is something I did when I was at Sheridan College. And uh, the whole multifunction thing came from um, an effort to be more sustainable. Uh, this is some prototyping. Um, I just got my first iPhone, and uh, so I got pretty jazzed about the uh, Hipstomatic, I think it's called, photo app. Um, so it, pardon me if it's overkill during this presentation. <laughs> but anyway, thanks Leah for the iPhone. Um, this is uh, some work I did. Um, if I'm not sort of doing things that are multifunctional, I tend to do things that um, have uh, some, some sort of like exploitation of, of an object's intended functionality. So these are cast aluminum um, stubby beer bottles. Um, this is um, a side table that I did uh, that obviously flips up into a, a chair, sort of intended for urban nights, uh, condo living. And uh, yeah, I just think that multifunctional furniture um, is the way of the future. At least I'm hoping, banking on it. <laughs> Doing capacity. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of this show. It's uh, showcasing uh, Canadian uh, female designers. And uh, the rest of the presentation really is about my piece for that exhibit. You all have to make it out. It's at the Bev Heise Gallery. Uh, I think that's how you say her last name. I've asked many people, and nobody could give me a straight answer. This is what I'm doing. It's a flip chair. So basically, it's sort of inspired by like an old library-style chair. And uh, it flips down to become uh, seating for two. Capacity asked us to uh, design something with the, the word capacity in mind. So this chair has the capacity to expand its capacity. <laughs> this is at A&M Wood Supply. Uh, this is a bit of a sponsor club right now. Thanks A&M for sponsoring me. But I love A&M. I don't know if anybody has ever been there to buy their wood before, but it's the place to go. The people there are amazing. And I just love walking in there because it's like you're in a cabin or like a shed. Or, it's great. So this is one of the jigs I used. Um, I made that jig. It's, uh, you know, you use it with a router to uh, make the curved components, which you will soon see. It's a little, that's my router table. It's nothing fancy at all. It's like definitely next on the list of upgrades at the shop. Oh, so this is when I was uh, assembling all the parts and uh, cracked something, as you can see here, and it was really a major bummer, but um, as Peter Fleming told me and as I tell my students, um, a good woodworker, being a good worker means knowing how to cover up your mistakes, so. So here's the chair, uh, so far that was, that was like I guess 10 days ago or so, and I hadn't put any arms on it yet, uh, this is in the back alley behind my shop, basically it's just wanted to show you how the chair flips forward, progress shot, process shot. Progress and process. Chit chat, chit chat. So here we are in the shop, uh, flip down. This is those curved components I was saying about. I made it out of walnut. Yeah, so hopefully having something like this, if you had like a small condo, like I just got, um, really small. Uh, Something like that could, you know, you have two of those, you have company over, flip it down, see so for four. Um, this is a big latch that's going on the back of the chair. Um, it's kind of nautical. I think I was digging for images the night before a slide show was due, so using my hipstomatic photo app, I took a shot of the, the buckle. 
I'm Jana Watson, who I'm collaborating with for uh, Come Up To My Room this year. Um, she and I are going to be at the DX next week, doing a little presentation about what we're doing for Come Up To My Room, so maybe we'll see some of you there. Never been there. Looking forward to it. So this is my shop. Here's the two parts of the chair. I'd like to, if I have time, run around with the chair top and take it take like a photo series of it on top of other things, like different bases and stuff. It's be fun. And I have a couple slides in my shop, just because it's kind of interesting. Um, I took over this old uh, garage, and my dad and I, in the middle of winter a couple of years ago, uh, insulated it and like skinned it all in chipboard and uh, made a great little shop out of uh, just like a residential garage, which I'll tell that because I'd probably get kicked out if they knew I was doing this in a, in a residential. Uh, these are just two little things in my shop. Can't really see them very well, but um, this is one of my favorite things. It says "fuck love" and it's uh, scratched into a little chunk of a tree stump. Uh, Jana gave me that, and on the right is uh, an inlay of a fork into walnut, and it was a test that I did for a, a table I did for a client. So here we have uh, the chair. There is now some hardware installed. Those are the hinges that flip it down. Uh, it's done now. I can say that. It's the first time I ever got something done early. And uh, this is a, a model of uh, a light that I was working on up until recently. In true Katrina form, I abandoned this project at the very last minute. It was going to go into Come Up To My Room, but now it is not. So, anyways, you might see this one day, maybe at the new Academy of Lions General Store that I'm working on. Uh, and if you haven't heard of that, check it out at uh, tinsellosadas.com. Thanks.